Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It is my hope and prayer that this video is going to find you guys in good health. We managed to lay my sister-in-law to rest yesterday and we thank God for everything. We all know that it's exactly two days to the next general election. And all the key players in this particular election are submitting their case to the public today for the last time. Yesterday, Oscar Sudi, who is a close ally of uh, the Deputy President William Samaya Raputo, conducted an opinion poll on his official Twitter handle. And to Oscar Sudi's surprise, majority of Kenyans told him through that opinion poll that Reno Dinga would win elections free, fair, and squarely if the elections were to be held. As a matter of fact, Twitter is not the best place to conduct an opinion poll. But because that opinion poll was conducted by Oscar Sudi himself and the results were against his expectations, I want us to go, I want us to look at the objectives which Oscar Sudi wanted to achieve by that opinion poll. And because those objectives were not, were not achieved, I want us to try and dissect the political significance of that Oscar Sudi statement, I mean opinion poll. Let me just get the opinion polls from, uh, that particular opinion poll from, uh, from, uh, it's here. Okay, this is what Oscar Sudi posted, that it's three days to the elections, let's vote. And the Kenyans voted, 43% of them voted for Raila, sorry, 43% of them voted for Ruto, and 57% of them voted for Raila Amoludinga. And Oscar Sudi decided to pull down the opinion poll after three hours. By the time he was pulling it down, 54,000 people had actually voted. It had only three hours had passed. So I want us to look at the political significance of this particular opinion poll by Oscar Sudi. But before we do that, in case you're watching the channel for the first time, I want you to take a second or two, click that subscribe button, so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support, because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. Now, let us get back to the main issue. And I want to ask you this question. And I expect you to just respond. Oscar Sudi gave two options. I also want to give you two options. Who do you think is going to win in the upcoming general election next week? Two choices only. If you believe it's Raila Odinga, just type Raila Odinga. If you believe it's uh, William Ruto, just type William Ruto. Now, let us get to the bottom of this. Opinion polls, in most cases, are conducted to achieve objectives. One of them is that they help the candidates understand their strong points and weak points. For example, Ruto or Raila can conduct an opinion poll just to, to gauge their performance. Like if in a particular area they are faring and I mean badly, they can improve. If there are certain issues their voters want to, to be addressed, then they can conduct opinion polls so that they can identify those those particular issues and present them to the public. Opinion polls are also used to shape, to shape perception. So Oscar Sudi conducting this opinion poll by himself without anybody asking him to do it, just three days to the elections means Oscar Sudi wanted to achieve several objectives. Number one, Oscar Sudi wanted to prove to Kenyans that William Ruto is going to win the elections. The truth of the matter is that majority of William Ruto supporters believes very strongly that William Ruto has already won this election. So Kenyans surprised him. Number two, Oscar Sudi also wanted to create momentum for his team. Because if, for example, this opinion poll had shown that William Ruto was winning, you can be sure that Oscar Sudi would have been on the moon today telling Kenyans how William Ruto is going to, to win the elections. And because the opinion polls did not go according to his plans, 
I want to give you in-depth analysis of that opinion poll. Because in that opinion poll, Raila Odinga is at 57, William Ruto is at 43. The first thing which comes to mind is who are Oscar Sudi's followers on Twitter? Because Oscar Sudi, let me just go through Oscar Sudi's uh, who are his followers on Twitter? Oscar Sudi is massively followed on Twitter. The people who are voting are prim primarily Oscar Sudi's supporters. Just like in most cases, I can't conduct an opinion poll on this channel and expect to get a similar result. For example, if the, the same opinion poll was conducted on another platform, because majority of people believe that I'm pro Rail Odinga. And therefore, those who are pro Ruto, I've always seen them here saying that they are leaving the channel. So this channel, for example, if you are to conduct opinion poll, Rail Odinga is likely to win. So the expectation is that it was expected that William Ruto was going to lead in Oscar Sudi's own opinion poll. So the question is, who are Oscar Sudi's supporters? Number two is the perception. You know, it's only three days to the elections when he conducted this election, I mean, this opinion poll. And the verdict is clear that Rilo Dinga is going to win if the elections were to be held. Now, assuming there were people on Oscar Sudi's wall who are undecided yet, how do you think they are going to vote? How will they decide? <clears throat> Number two is perception. By Oscar Sudi's own uh, opinion poll, Raila Odinga is winning. I'm sure Oscar Sudi's wall has people who are not yet decided. How do you think these people will then decide? Majority of them will now go with the winning team. And remember, because Oscar Sudi is a national figure, when that opinion poll was uh, favoring Raila Odinga, he had to pull it down. Because he, under he understood the impact it will have. And Kenyans are really sharing this particular opinion poll. On, on my WhatsApp alone, I received several requests from people asking me to say something about that opinion poll. So it's going to persuade those who are undecided. <coughs> And again, if you look at it critically, Oscar Sudi is one of key allies of William Ruto. He's followed very closely by UDA and Kenya Kwanzaa supporters. The truth is, now with the, this opinion poll, most of these, those people are now, are now convinced that Raila Odinga is likely to win this election, based just on the opinion poll by Oscar Sudi. So the truth of the matter is that as much as we like it or we don't like it, this opinion poll by Oscar Sudi is likely to persuade others or voters because of the perceptional value Oscar Sudi has in this country. Number three is that it's going to boost the morals, moral of um, morale of uh, those who support Azimio. You know, that's why majority of Azimio supporters were sharing that particular opinion poll, the results. And now they are convinced that, okay, if Oscar Sudi can conduct an opinion poll three days to the elections and we are winning, what next? So they are so happy now. Raila Odinga supporters are so happy. Their morale is now up there. They now convince that Oscar Sudi is going, I mean, that Raila Odinga is going to win the elections. The fourth thing which I'm seeing here is that Oscar Sudi, no, Oscar Sudi has now been tamed. You know, Oscar Sudi is one of the people who make a lot of noise online and even on public. I am sure if William Ruto was winning this election, Oscar Sudi would have gone live, showing Kenyans how the DP was going to win. Just by this particular mistake he committed, Oscar Sudi has gone silent. He can now talk. He has been forced to delete the results from his Facebook page. So I think it has, in one way or the other, tamed Oscar Sudi. And lastly, the other thing which is now coming out is Denis Itumbi bots, which is now being exposed. 
you know, at this stage, Denis Itumbi is busy. Everybody is busy. So Denis Itumbi cannot prepare votes to vote on Oscar Sudi's wall. When we have an election, in the next three days, he's busy crafting things. If it's about hacking, he's busy trying to hack the system. Denis Itumbi is busy doing every other thing. And Kenyans are not convinced, because that's what I'm getting online, that in most opinion polls where UDS are winning, it's because of Denis Itumbi's bots. He couldn't apply the bots because he's busy with the elections. I don't know what you think, but that's my take. And one thing I know for sure is that if this election is going to be free and fair, then Relo Dink is going to win it easily in the first round. Why? You ask me. Because of the manual register. Guys, I'm coming up with that analysis shortly. Thank you guys. And I'm glad to be back. And I hope and pray that you guys will also be happy. And by the way, for those who called, supported me on one, in one way or the other, following the demise of my sister-in-law, I want to thank you so much. There is nothing much I can uh, give you. But just know wherever you are, if you supported me in one way or the other, whether financial or through prayers, phone calls, messages, please know that I take them seriously. Thank you guys and please may you have a good day. Bye-bye.